In this tip of the day, let's take a look at how we can use one CNC to create geometry from a CNC program. Now, the geometry we're going to be creating is not the part geometry, but one CNC can create the toolpath geometry, and this can be very helpful. Let's first begin by showing you the CNC program that we're going to be using. Here's the program. Now, this is a mill program, and we're going to be using this to create toolpath geometry. It's very simple to do, so let's minimize this. Over within one CNC in the upper left hand corner, simply select file and then import. From there, you're going to want to select backplot file G code ISO format. Just left click that. And at this point, you want to locate the G code or the NC program that you want to use. I'm going to head to the desktop inside my step files folder. And here's the CNC program we're going to be using. I'm just going to double click on that. Once we do that, one CNC prompts us with arc mode. In other words, how are the arc moves defined inside this CNC program? I'm going to use the default incremental arcs and click OK. One CNC now tells us the cycle time for that G code. We're going to click OK. And there we go. There is the actual toolpath geometry created from the CNC program. There's a lot of great uses for this. One would be that maybe we've forgotten which part file this CNC code is associated with. Well, once you have the shape of the toolpath, it may be easy to now figure out which part. In fact, you can even confirm that if we were to head up here and go to file and then merge file. If you have a sneaking suspicion of which part file was used, you can merge that in here and one CNC will bring that part file in and you can easily look at this toolpath geometry and figure out if it's a good match. I'm going to click finish on that and there we go. That's a great match. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. We took a look at how we can create toolpath geometry from CNC code. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.